Okay, well, I just found out I was muted for the first 37 seconds, so I guess that doesn't matter much. Um, but um, found out heat is on the right if it's exothermic, and this would be delta H equals negative 37 kilojoules. And if it was on the right, say it was 58.7 kilojoules plus reactants, that's a joule. Uh, oops, that's a reactant. Yields products, then it would say delta H equals positive 58.7. So you guys even missed the uh, opening of wonderful, uh, you've got a friend in me. When potassium chloride decomposes, delta H for the reaction is 25.5 kilojoules. Now, hopefully you know potassium chloride is KClO3. And if it decomposes, I've got to make something I can take to prom. Well, I don't see any other kind of KClO thing. So if I go KCl, and if I want to do something else, well, I don't know. My choices would either be K2O or O2. And if you try to do the balance of the thing with K2O, you'll find that it doesn't work, and you just get oxygen. So how much heat is released if you do this? So 25.5 grams. Oh, and to balance this, um, this would be a 3. This would be a 2, and this would be a 2. So 25.5 grams of potassium chlorate, KClO3, times dividing bar, whoops, 1 mole of KClO3, and then go to the periodic table of KClO3, um, and, oops, I'm going to pause this for Okay, well, this is really sad because I forgot what uh, potassium is. That's not the sad part, but I looked it up on my app for the periodic table. Um, great, my batteries are low. Um, so 39.10 um, grams is potassium, plus chlorine is 35.45, plus quantity 3 times 16, or 48, uh, and it's 122.55. Um, how much heat is released? So times dividing bar. Now, if I want to do this with heat, this is positive 25.5, so what I do is I just think of 25.5 kilojoules as a reactant. I squeeze it over there on the left. So that means one mole of KClO3 would give me, I'm sorry, two moles of KClO3 would give me 25.5 kilojoules. And do that math and I'm done. Where did the number two come from? Two is my balanced equation. Where did the um, 25.5 come from? That's the kilojoules, which I guess comes from here. Okay, and do that math and you get the answer. Um, and then if 10.5, I'm afraid I'm going to go a little long today, so I'll let you do that math. 10.5 kilojoules of heat um, is released. How many liters of oxygen is formed in one atmosphere in 35? So 10.5 kilojoules, I'm going to hate kilojoules and put it on the bottom. And I want to go into liters of oxygen. So 3 moles of oxygen is 25.5 kilojoules. And then that'll give me moles, and then I'm going to pivnert that. So 10.5 times 3 divided by 25.5 is 1.24 moles. So PV equals NRT. So PV equals NRT. Pressure is 1.5. Volume is what I'm looking for. Moles would be 1.24. R is 0.0821. And temperature is 35 Celsius, which is 35 plus 273, which is 308. Shame on me for using a calculator for that, but such is life. So 1.24 times 0.0821 times 308 divided by 1.5 is 20.9. That would be liters. All right. So bond energies can also be found. So find delta heat of delta H formation for H2. Find delta H formation for NH3. Um, when is the bond energy positive? When is the bond energy negative? Now this one would be, I have to give you from um, H. So like H1, which is very rare. So um, bond energy means how much energy is formed. Um, remember, forming bonds equals negative energy. Okay, so forming bonds releases energy. That means it's going to be lower energy, so it's more likely to happen. So if I'm doing H2, I would have H plus H yields H2, and the only bonds that form would be this one right here. This comes from your book, this table of bonds, lengths, and strengths, so you can look that up, or look up bond energies on the Internet, and you'll find it. Um, I'm sorry, bond length, this is the bond length. This is the bond energy. So the bond energy for this is 436, and since these bonds formed, it would be positive 436.
if I was doing NH3, um, so when is bond energy positive? I suppose you should do this. When is bond energy positive? When you break it. When is bond energy negative? When you form it. So you have to be given a uh, formula for what you're starting with. So if I did N plus H plus H, assuming I had that, that would be NH3, you would need to know that the H's are attached to the N's. And I think you remember that. Um, so all you have, whoops, I forgot another H, didn't I? So I would have 3 times negative 391. Why negative? Because um, the bonds are forming. 3 times negative 391. And that's negative, wow, 1173. But if you looked at the heat of formation of um, ammonia, it would be less than that because really the formula would be N2 plus H2 yields NH3. And I have to break these and break these and form this one. Remember, only the forming one's negative. So I know we have some examples like that coming up. Water has a heat of formation of O2D6 per moles. What is the bond strength of O2? Remember, H2 is this. So H2 plus O2 yields H2O. And I want to make one H2O, so I'm going to throw a half in here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break H2. So that's going to be a positive 436, because that's where the 436 comes from. And then I'm going to break one half of O2, and that's my variable equals negative 286, because that's how much energy it took to form water. Okay, So negative 286 minus 436 equals 0.5x. So negative 286 minus 436. Why did I make that minus? I don't think I should have. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, so negative 286 minus 436 equals negative 722 divided by 0.5 would be negative 1444. What I think is wrong, but I need to move along. It's the right idea. I must put the numbers in wrong. Phase change oddities. Changing state does not change the temperature, ever. It always stays the, same, stays the same temperature. In Excel, we made you sit there. Remember, I drew this graph before. And we made you watch water boil and check the temperature every 30 seconds, and the temperature never changed. Changing state changes PE, changes temperature, changes kinetic energy. So, given the equation, blah, 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 which of the following statements is true? The reaction is exothermic. Delta H is negative. That is true. When 5 moles of sulfur is reacted, 148 kilojoules is released. So, 5 moles of sulfur times dividing bar. Um, and then 1 mole of sulfur, negative 296 kilojoules. So 5 times negative 296 is negative 1480, which would be wrong. So only number 1 is true. Oh, that's not fair. Uh, oh, and there's 3. Okay. Oh, see. When 32 grams of sulfur, by the way, that's 1 mole, are burned um, 296 times 10 to the 5th joules of energy. Oh, they made it kilojoules. So 1 mole of sulfur times dividing bar, uh, 296 kilojoules, 1 mole of sulfur. So notice 296 kilojoules would be 296, 1, 2, 3. Sorry about the formatting thing on this one, but um, that is true. So 1 and 3 are true. So there's a dog for you. Uh, use the following bond energies. Estimate the heat of combustion of 1 mole of acetylene. So C2H2, this is a little much for you, but C2H2 would be C, triple bond C to H. And this is what you'd be given at this time. Plus 5 halves O2. O double O. Yields. 2CO2, and CO2 is double bonded on both sides. And H2O, I hope you know, looks like Mickey Mouse. So when I'm doing this, these on the left-hand side are positive, and these on the right-hand side are negative. So I have a C triple C, which is 839. And I have two C to H bonds from here, which would be 413 times 2 plus um, 5 halves O double O, which is 495. 
minus. And I'm going to change colors to show the minus thing. And what I'm forming over here is I've got two of these, so I have four C double O. So four C double O would be four times seven ninety nine. Or actually, I'll make this a plus and just call this a negative 799. And then plus, I have one water, so I have two O to H bonds. So 2 times negative 467. And do the math on that, and one of those is your answer. Well, that's it. Hey, isn't that great? Review. Treat heat like a reactant or a product with a number of coefficients. Oh, barf. Breaking absorbs, releasing forms. That was a student review thing. So combine those things and we are wonderfully happy and life is good. So I will talk to you later. Yay, under 12 minutes and I will talk to you later. Toodles.